Ho, how you doing? I'm Hassan with I Drive Atlanta, and uh, I'm a chauffeur, certified chauffeur. Um, I started off doing ride share, I guess, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm gonna be bringing that to you. Says, well, you know, there's other levels of the transportation industry that I could talk to, and I hope that I'm being able to do my part in bringing some light to the transportation industry, especially, you know, luxury limousine. Now, because that's what I do, I have a uh, BMW sedan and a Chevy Suburban that I use. Okay, since I've been doing it, since I've been a chauffeur, you know, it's, well, okay, let me, let me just go at you with this here. We'll just start from over here somewhere because I've got all this stuff up here anyway. When I started in 2016, I started doing ride share. That's Uber and Lyft, okay? Okay, I started off with a Toyota Corolla. And that year, first out year, I, I did 30,000. Now, you see here that I had a very bad rating. In other words, I wasn't very good at all. Not at all. And back then, Uber would send you those things where well, you're just getting started, you know, just keep going, just keep going. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes you want to get a call up. I mean, there's a, there's a yin and yang of this thing. I just put it that way, right? So, because, yeah, they might have cut your rates. But there were those things that kept you encouraged and kept you going on in the, in the beginning. But I had finally got to a 4.86 while in that Toyota Corolla, okay? And while in that Toyota Corolla. All this whole time, I'm wanting it to work. I'm really, really wanting it to work. Okay, because I'm noticing some things. Number one, I ain't sitting in no shelter all day. I'm driving around the city. <laughs> I sit around the shelter all day because I was homeless and everything. But I had a good driver's life and I didn't have no car. I didn't even have a car. Okay, so back then in 2017, you go to the place, you get the car, and the bonus was ridiculous. By Wednesday, I done made the bonus and paid for the car, and I still got paid. No wonder that thing went broke. Okay, it was Uber Exchange. At least that's what they said it did when it went broke. Okay, so I got out of the Corolla and went to the Hyundai De Ionic. And the things I learned, one of the points, <laughs> one of the points is never let go of what you learn all the way around. What you learn about yourself, your good days, your bad days, and all that. Let that become part of it. Learn about yourself so you can improve yourself as who you are. Make yourself be a satisfying self to yourself. I would be ashamed of myself, but I'm not. All right? Now, this is not for the poop butt league. Uh, this is, uh, you know, for those who may share similar experiences. So yeah, I have nothing bad I want to say about Uber or Lyft because they cut the hell out the rates. Now I do Uber black and Lyft black and they be cutting them rates and all it's ever been for them to cut rates has been a challenge for me to still make more money per ride. Okay? Now, Over here in uh, 20, uh, 2018, so 
Something kept telling me over here, well, if I had a better car, if I had a better car, if I had a better car. But I kept running into people who had Toyota Corollas, man. They had 4.9 something. See? So that'll let you know maybe, hey, man, maybe your ass, something's wrong with your attitude. And I'm not going to say it wasn't. I learned so much about myself doing this stuff, and I think doing this kind of work, this thing called rides here, and I think that's how come some people fail. They start, well, that's not really a failure if you don't want to do it no more. That's really not a failure. I shouldn't even use that word with that, but you find something else you want to do, right? This ain't the only thing to do, but you, you know, it's not failure. It's not failure, please. I'm just still, I'm not going to take the video down because I said that. But, no, that's not fair if this don't work for you. Okay, now, um, all this whole way I'm learning something about me because I kept saying maybe if I get a better car. And then I started studying them hybrids. Boy, I was so sold on trying to get me one of them Toyota Priuses and be like one of the millions of orthodoxy. Then I ran into the Hyundai, I did my research and I ran into the Hyundai Ionic and it was beautiful, baby. It was just like a regular car and it had more space in it and more luggage space because I want to better, do better customer service. Okay, I want to get better ratings and everything. So I was 64 years old. That was representing my age, 64 years old here. Uh, I got up to a 4.9 rating and it was a Hyundai Ionic. It's getting 53 miles to the gallon. You know, and I was, and I rolled out at seventy two thousand. Okay. Now all the whole time I'm experimenting. I'm trying to what what can I do to get more money per ride? That's what I'm trying to do. Getting more. I still try to get more money per ride. All right. So so uh, right after that, I got into the BMW. And then chauffeurs began to come to me and say, hey, man, it's a beautiful car, man. I said, yeah, man. He said, and I began to, you know, I tried to take on a persona. I'm going to start doing private rides now. I'm going to start doing private rides now so I can make more money per ride. Okay, so, so what happened is uh, <laughs> when they approached me, and man, they had some beautiful cars, man. Like Lincolns and look at this. Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. They were dressed, they were dressed nice and everything. I says okay, okay. See, cause see, I had my own outfit that I had. I wore the leather jacket, the gloves, you know, nice pants, the the, the, the shirt, you know, uh, nice some silk shirts and stuff like that. You know, I'm. I'm chilling. You can look back in some of my other videos. You'll see that 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 sort of a style. And I had the clients, the clients, the client first client I got after I got the BMW was a uh, they were like in the hip hop kind of community, what we like to call hip hop community, right? And he was like one of them hip hop comedians. <laughs> He just wasn't very funny, okay? But he was like a hip hop comedian. Anyway, I was with him all day, made some good money with it. I said, this is the way I gotta go. Okay, this is the way I gotta go. So the deeper I got into it, I was seeing guys in really nice cars like Cadillacs. Down there in the chauffeur area, and they jump out the car, be looking good, boy, smack, smack up. You see, like that and everything. I said, damn, boy, I want to do, they make more money per ride. <laughs> so I began to investigate. I said, man, I ain't going to let, I ain't going to let a few ounces of hair or a couple pounds of clothes stop me from what I got to do. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> the more I inquired, then I found out, you know, you, you, you could become what they call an affiliate. So I became an affiliate, and that's actually, that's where the majority of my, my, my uh, money comes from now, and I'm picking up more and more of those clients who I'm affiliate to. I mean, it's 
you know, it's all good. It's, it's, it's a very nice thing. I like what's going on. And um, it's very interesting. But see, it started off right over here with the Uber Lyft thing. So as we keep coming over here to us Uber Lyft guys, why don't you carry your butt on over there to one of them other channels like that? Because it don't matter none to me. You know, it doesn't matter none to me like that. This is where I came from. This is a very, and I'm just going to use the word I'm saying, this is a very beloved experience over here. <laughs> and you know, it still is, I just do the black. I don't do the, uh, uh, you know, I don't do the Uber X anymore. You can get away from that. Look, when I got over here, the energy I built over here was here and it's still kind of here you see what i'm saying okay i still do the goal setting i still have to pay attention to look okay well let me just do this let me just do this because I'm, I'm i'm gonna get over here we're gonna do this too we're gonna do this too we're gonna look at this too see? See, it's still here for me. The challenges are still there, right? And even more, because when you take it over into the transportation industry, there's a whole world of things you may decide that you want to do. You knock on that door, you don't have to kick no doors in or nothing. Just fulfill whatever you got to fulfill. Take the test. Uh, you know, fill out the papers, pay what you got to pay, study what you need to study, huh? Watch the videos, watch the videos to get encouragement, huh? Because they're about the only ones going to encourage you nowadays. This thing, look, okay, look, I do what I can to try to encourage you. But actually, since I watch the videos, I'm being selfish. I'm just encouraging my own self. But that's okay, too. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, so, everything that you learn in each phase, you can actually bring it to the next phase. Oh, no. See, I'm not afraid of bringing it to you, you know, for what it is. For some of you, it's not for all of you. Hell, it's for everybody, man. Everybody be busting, and there still be room. And nature will find a way for you. You see what I'm saying? That's what the transportation. That's what I love about the transportation industry. You can, you know, put forth all your energy into it, and you will get a wonderful return. You will be rewarded. So for those of you who says, well, look, I'm doing this Uber Lyft thing. I got, I got to work seven days a dead gum week. Hmm. And I feel stuck. You don't have to be stuck. What if you can make what you was making in that seven days a week at 16 hours a day in just 50 hours? That was just something I threw out there. I just started practicing that because I still had that, I had that goal set. How, how can I push it thing going? Right? Okay, so <clears throat> let me jump over here to this other thing. Over here on this other side right quick. I just want to point this out to you right quick. Okay, if you're doing 12 hours a day, seven days a week, don't feel disgruntled. There's a reason that you're doing it. It might feel good to you. There's no shame in it. Just let them people go who make say, ah, it works seven days, we call that. Me, you don't even hear that. You trying to go somewhere. Don't even sweat that. I still roll seven. Okay? Okay. Now, um, you know, I'm actually doing many hours though like that, but you know, I'm doing, you know, I have other chauffeurs drive and that sort of thing. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm trying to bring me something here. Okay, now, with them kind of statistics, pull it in a little bit, dang blast it. Okay, right there. Not too much of an optical illusion for what I'm trying to do. Okay, 32% of the accidents fatal, and then you've got knuckleheads out here 
little beast. Huh? Out here. Gonna hurt you. Almost that stuff happened on Uber and Lyft. Alright? You don't have to go through that. See, only even on Uber Black I had somebody get shot and jump in my car, but it was on Uber. It was an Uber Black ride. On Lyft, I still get knuckleheads and be oh, uh, 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 with some BS. But I've been doing it long enough. I just know, okay, you have to shift that. What's going on with you? What you thinking about? What you got in your head? You already knew better. You, you already knew better. Because every time I break my own rules, that's when I get in trouble. Okay, oh, okay. Let me get back to this right quick. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna roll this real quick. Okay, now. Okay, now. I use the example of $800 a week. I'm going to keep using that example right there. Okay. Uh, you do it three weeks in a row. Comfortably. Don't lie to yourself. It's, you know, you're doing a whole different thing now. Don't lie to yourself. You don't need to tell nobody. You don't need to be hanging around out there at that airport. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're in Atlanta, Georgia, what, the, what I'm talking about. You're not hanging around out there. Huh? You testing everything about yourself, what you know, to make more money per ride. All right? You're pushing, you're trying to get 20 rides a day. You're trying to get it compact. You're trying to find that area where it's bang, bang, banging. Right? Huh? Well, you're getting the ping, ping, and you're trying different ways of it. You're taking, it, you're taking advantage of all the, you come together for yourself. This is what I did. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. Give you the hours I did it too. Okay, we'll, we'll come to that. We'll come to that if I make it to it. Okay. I'll have feet on the ground by four or five in the morning. They got to have a chauffeur, you know, sometimes it's like three in the morning, have feet on the ground. There's nothing to have feet on the ground at four o'clock in the morning. Nothing. Don't you know how good a time that is to cut that black out, to cut on black if you're on black because I don't do nothing else. I don't do nothing else, X, miss. I don't do that. All right? So this might benefit you if you do with black. Feet on the ground by four, you know, five, you want to push it ugly. You know, if you want to go ugly with it. Then by 10 o'clock, Go on here, come on in the office. Get, get out back about three. And I ain't carrying no fur till nine at night, so I got that schedule from doing what? Over here. You cover all the, you cover, you cover all the uh, surge time. It's okay to be that kind of scientist. If you gotta break it down into three parts of the day, it's okay. I mean, you're rolling, man. You're trying to make your competition driving, man. I don't care if you don't understand. Get as offended as you like. I mean, this is for those of you who got guts enough to be creative with this thing, okay? Okay. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. I had to do it whatever I did, and I kept moving it up. I maxed Atlanta out at being able just to wake up in the morning and make $1,700 a week on work five days a week on 50 hours. And then I knew, well, hell, man, you already know you can move it, you can move it up. You can really move it up. But I was having some issues with it. I was over here in this Hyundai Ioni, right? I was having some issues with that. I said, well, damn, maybe I just need to move to the next level and make it smooth. It got to be smooth. So I researched the BMW. It was a hybrid. I, found, I knew that at 30 miles per gallon I could make that money because I had already been making that. You see what I'm saying? You see? So um, I did about three months of research on it. Finally found it, finally got the vehicle. And then it started a whole nother adventure. An adventure. I had chauffeurs mad at me. 
I was working. See, I stopped doing Uber X's unless it was in my benefit to go that direction. Cause I was one of them high level, what platinum or whatever they got, diamond or whatever it is. I wasn't even doing it for that. I wasn't, man, I didn't care. I'm, I'm trying to make more money per ride. Y'all cutting people rates and all this old kind of thing and all other drivers complaining. I ain't complaining about a damn thing. Okay, so, uh, okay, look here. Uh, look here. <clears throat> I got my codes and everything down there if you want to sign up, if I'm helping you out any or whatever, you want to throw me a little something, I got my cash app down there. Down there. Uh, just sign up. I don't care who you sign up under, who you sign up with. Uh, I do want, I do like the idea when you subscribe and everything and thank you and everything for those who have helped me out. Thank you too. So until the next video, drive safe and drive with confidence.